Well, episode 10. I'm moving along. And now, I think it's time to do some more advanced things. You wake to discover yourself in the last place you left off. And I've got some ideas to do. Alright, so I know at this point I collected a little bit of uh, limestone, iron ore. I think I collected some more talc somewhere, but whatever. Um, I have some ideas for, um, you know, this episode, more or less. Yes, I have ideas. Alright, first and, first and foremost, where the hell am I? I am in the middle of the map over here. I'm going to start heading back toward my homestead, I think. Yeah, so I'll head back toward my homestead. Though, before I go, let's see if I can collect some of this um, stuff up here. Limestone. Excellent. More limestone. I'm overweight, because limestone's heavy. Alright, I'm not sure if I want to... You know, maybe turn some of this limestone into powder because powder is apparently lighter than, um, you know, just the natural limestone like this. That's something I could probably do. I could like turn into limestone powder, so it'd be lighter. There's some more limestone on here. All right. Well, let's see here. Cook spire meat, that's fine. Berries. Well, whatever, let's just do it. We'll make a little bit of powder, I guess. We'll make some carbon powder, maybe. So, I'll note that basically if you look at this right here, you'll see that I'm grind grinding on this powder, like, you know, from stuff. And apparently that didn't really reduce the weight all that much. If I did, oh well. Well, limestone power will be next. So this is 3.1, 2.8. So it is reducing a little bit, but not a whole lot. That's unfortunate. If I reduce a lot more than that. Hmm. All right. Well, Plan B. What can I drop? Or maybe yeah, let's put something in a chest and I'll come back for it later. That might be an idea. Let's do that. Hey, vines on no tree. Oh, my stone axe is in new repair. Alright, we've prepared this for grindstone. So I'll have to be, be replaced or, you know, we done, done something to it soon. Nice. And here's a vine whip I can make. Or maybe I should make cordage out of this stuff instead, because, you know. String. Ooh, look at that. We've got a whole lot of exceptional branches here. And exceptional string, too. Well, anyways, let's place this down. We'll build that right there. And let's just move all this stuff in here for now. Alright, well that stuff is all in there. That's reduced my weight a little bit. Now, I have to say, I liked all these like, sexual stuff I have right here. I'm gonna actually, um... Go in here. I'm just going to... Dismantle this stuff. Look at all that lovely, remarkable stuff right there. Blue, 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 blue! Alright, I want to make some stuff out of this stuff here. So... Let's sort this by quality, so all this stuff appears up here. My hand drill's looking fine, I don't really care about it. Um, of this stuff here, let's make up some... 
exceptional string. Ooh, yeah, I can make rope. I should make rope at some point, but we'll hold off on doing that for now. Nice, I can actually make tongs right now. Um, I might do that at some point, but we're going to hold off on doing that just yet. Alright, I think what I'm going to do now, we're just going to sort of keep this stuff that basically turned into, you know, remarkable stuff up here for now. I'm just going to move all this to the open container. That's fine, I think. Let's do it like that. Now, what am I keeping this tree bark around for? I used to soak flame and stuff, I guess, but that's about it. Twigs and tree bark, twigs and sharpened stuff. Alright, well, we're not going to worry about this tree bark, I think. Let's put that in here. That's fine. I've only got one wood shavings here. I should probably have another, to be honest. Wood shavings basically require me to do what now? I need twigs and sharpened items, so... Let's just take this out, we'll dismantle you. Oh wait, I've got the wood shavings up here. Okay, never mind. That's fine. You know, I kind of wish there was like a double click to like, automatically move stuff in between like, you know, your inventory like this. Alright, I'm sort of wasting time here, but whatever. I moved a whole lot of stuff into this chest, there's lots of weight in here I'll have to come back for at some point. Let's just pick that up. I'm going to go down here, we're just going to... Get this talc. There we go, we got all that stuff. It looks like there's another path over here, that's fine. Let's move all this to the open container. Oops, nope. Don't want to step in that. It's a very healthy fire. Not for stepping in, though. Alright, what is over here? Hey, look at that, we found some coal. No, that's iron ore. That's better than coal. Well, let's run around here, I guess, a little bit. There's tree bark, I'll pick that up because I'm actually finding tree bark is kind of a rare resource in this game, in a way. It's rarer than any other resources, which is odd. Wow, let's go this way. Whoops, I went into the cave. I did not mean to go into the cave. The cave is a dangerous place right now. There's all this stuff. There's some more talc, I'm fine with picking that up. Some coal. Alright, let's just drop this stuff.
I drop this all here? Nope. Alright, more coal? Yep, more coal. Hey, I found myself a sharp a sexual sharp rock, that's nice. Ow. That's fine, I hurt myself a little bit. Okay, let's just rest for a little bit. And apparently I got a new jump ability, that's interesting. What does jump do, I wonder? Okay, we're gonna take this coal with us. More coal. Talk. Want that. Alright, we're getting overfilled again. It's a long way to go all the way up there to get over here. You know what, I'm actually getting hungry at this point, so what we're going to do, we're going to start eating stuff, I think. Eating's always good, right? Let's eat some... Am I spire meat, maybe? We'll eat these berries, maybe? There we go. Got my weight down a little bit. And as you can see, I'm basically, like, you know, just hovering around the, uh... Max weight. So we move so slow. You know what? I think we're going to head back to um, my homestead now. Good time to do it, right? My full on weight and... Ready to go. Um, hmm. I'm gonna leave that alone and go up in here then. Now I keep hearing sound effects. I'm wondering what those are. Is there a hobgoblin around? Maybe laying traps or something? Like, remember, there are hobgoblins, and they do, like, lay traps and stuff, so... Seriously, what is with the sand cacks? They're just being annoying at this point. Alright, um... You know, I like how this fire is burning dangerously around. Nice, so I heard it a little bit. You're unhealthy. You gonna stay away from me? Nope. There we go. Stay away. I don't want to fight that sand cat right now. We'll, uh, you know, leave it alone. And they'll leave us alone. There's some poison ivy over here. We'll try to avoid stepping in that. Red berry bush. I like that. Bob berry bushes. I didn't mean to collect the entire thing right there, but whatever. Um, you know, I'm close to my chest over here. I might just drop off stuff I don't need. Now, I'm thinking about doing something, by the way. This is like water skin medicinal water is cool and all, but it might make sense if I was to, like, you know, just drop it and get rid of it, to be honest. Because it's like almost damaged and stuff, so... Let's just drink this up. And apparently that didn't really kill the weight all that much, that's interesting. I 
Ah, oh, figures. There we go. Repaired to our skin. You know, I just noticed this, but because my like strength went up, I'm able to you know carry up more stuff. Let's see here. I'm actually gonna keep those plant roots. I'm gonna try and make medicinal water from them, I think. I'll keep the seeds too, because I can always replant those near my base. Alright, let's just, uh, clap tick, and then we'll make our medicinal water. I think we use the, big, the best jug I've got there, so... Let's do that. What's this big red berry? Consumed on use, may provide benefits, blah blah. A normally large plump red berry full of luscious nutrient. I like that idea, it's full of stuff. Alright, you know what, let's just drop this on the ground. And I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to try and head back to our homestead, so. Okay, so there is a hot bottom around me somewhere. It's laying traps and hurting itself on it, apparently. And by the way, I'm hugging the walls to see if I can find stuff. And I am finding some stuff right there, so limestone is going to come later, I guess. Just keep hurting yourself, you idiot. Um, there he is right there. Let's just go up here. Are you going to be annoying? Probably. Blunt Dash is ineffective. Alright, I got some gelatin here and um, I'm going to use this to basically preserve stuff. Where's my spire meat? Where is the spider meat? Huh. I may just kill that uh, unfortunately without anything to put this on. That's annoying. Oh, well, there's some remarkable coal. Let's just put that right there. So that's 1.1. That's one. So it does reduce the weight a little bit when you grind this stuff up, it's just not a whole lot. That's unfortunate. Hmm. But whatever, let's just um, reduce the weight a little bit by doing all this. And this guy is now on top of me. Annoying. Ow. I'm not really interested in fighting you. Let's go this way. Now, here's something that I'm very concerned about, but I think hot bombs are smart because they're goblins and because they can lose traps. So, I suspect that they're smart enough that they can open doors. Which is like, you know, gonna be unfortunate if they do. 
because they can just raid my house if they need, if they need to. Just something to throw out there. Wow, I got a nice big hit in this guy. Goodbye. I got some yellow flowers from him, apparently. Alright, apparently Living Rock doesn't hurt too much, that's good now. So flower petals are good for making, you know, medicinal stuff, that's good to know. I bet I need, I bet I need roots for it to be really, really useful, but whatever. Now here's a question, has that hobgoblin given up chasing me anywhere yet? Whoops. Oh well. Alright, let's plant some stuff I guess. We'll go over here and we'll plant you. You. And you. Alright, let's see here. So, I have a plan. A very, very simple plan. For this episode. I want to basically get back here with all these like lovely ingredients and stuff. I'm gonna actually do this at this point because my inventory is getting big enough that I want to, like, you know, drag it down like this. Alright, I got all these, like, you know, ingredients basically piling up at this point. And I read online about some stuff I could possibly do with this stuff. Gonna move this stuff in here. Apparently, I don't have room for this stuff in here. That's a bit of an issue, but whatever. Um, I can always take out stuff to eat, so I have that option, right? So, take that out. Take all that stuff out since I can instantly do that very quickly. Move that there. And that's a very, very full thing, so... Take that out. Put that in. Throw that there because I feel like it. Alright, so some thoughts. I've basically been going through this game doing some stuff, of course, and all that. Um, you know, I'm doing quite well, I guess, at this point. I want to do some more advanced stuff, though, and I, I learned a little bit about, like, you know, what I could possibly do with sand because, you know, sand is stuff I can do stuff with. I find all this sand and I have some things I can do with it, so. Let's take out...
all that stuff right there. And I'll take out some of this clay. This raw clay. So you can make clay flakes. And I found out that if you make clay flakes and you have like the sand, you can make green sand. And green sand is something you can basically do stuff with. Um, they have stuff with. So there's some green sand. Apparently I got some remarkable green sand. That's cool. Alright, I got some green sand. And you know what? We're going to pick this up. Because I just fought something. I need a new motor. So what do I need for this? I need to get two smooth rocks. Well, there's a large rock. Can I do anything with rock, large rocks making them smooth rocks or anything? A sharp rock and a smooth rock can do that. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take out this large rock. This sharpened rock. And I'm going to make myself a smooth rock. Apparently I didn't make a very good smooth rock of uh, doing that. That's unfortunate. Just wasted my rocks. Oh well. I need two of these. There's a new motor and pestle to use. Used for grinding, crushing, made for you know, made from smooth stones and all that. Um, basically, at this point, I can do some stuff. And one thing about doing, I believe, if you take this limestone powder. Uh, seriously, I didn't bring the limestone. Well, that's unfortunate. I forgot the, you know, what I was bringing along. Very, very unfortunate. Oh well. Well, plan B. Plan B is I have all this iron. I can do stuff with, with, with iron. I've got all this lovely iron ore and you can turn this stuff into wrought iron and you can do other stuff as well. Um, do I want to do that now though? I wonder. Really what I want to do is I want to get like, you know, that limestone from that chest I, I left behind in the wilderness, I guess. Gonna march my way out over here, I guess. I'm just gonna chop some trees, I guess. There we go, repair that. There we go, more logs. I'm going to make some chests, because I feel like it. No, I didn't mean to do that. Pick that up. There we go. Build that stuff there. Move open container. Alright, that's all moved. Move this too, I guess. Alright. You know, I have no idea what I'm going to do really right now. Alright, well, let's see here. Um... I guess I will deal with this like coal or iron stuff now, I guess. We'll try and like smelt into like rotten iron at least.
I have to figure out the process for it, so... Hmm. What to do with iron? Well, I got furnace here. Let's just start a fire right there. I should probably put something in that fire to make it, you know, better. Whatever, let's just put a couple branches in there. That'll work. There we go. Do that too. There we go, Raging Fire. Alright, how do I do production stuff? So, coal plus iron apparently does not equal iron ore or iron or anything like that. I might need to get something else. I think one of the items I need is a hammer, so maybe I'll try and make a hammer. What do you need for hammers? I need string, a rock, and a pole. Where's my rock? Uh, do I want to use exceptional string for this? I'm not sure I really do. Let's use that string instead. There we go. Okay, I'm working myself into exhaustion. That's not smart, but whatever. Uh, what did I make my hammer with? I think I've used up a better string than what I currently had. Oops. Oh well. Alright, you know what, let's just rest on the ground. I'm going to quickly put my uh, water skin in here because I don't really need it at the moment. You're struggling yet again. You know what? I have lots of leaves. These will work. Wow, it takes a lot of leaves to uh, do what I'm doing, aren't I? Well, it's very healthy. I'm good with that. Alright, I got myself this um, stone hammer, and look at that, I can make myself wrought iron. So, iron ore plus hammer equals wrought iron. Excellent. Let's get to that. Now, you can make wrought iron stuff, which is basically all new types of items like this to use, but... We're just going to, um... Just go in here and do this, basically. Crap, I had a bad one. Okay, there's a little blacksmithing going on. So yeah, I can make all this lovely stuff, like as you can see, iron chests, I can make, you know, iron helmets and stuff. All good stuff. Now think about it, I should probably get some tongs. Alright, I need a wooden pull string and a sharpened iron for that. Let's just go in here, we're just going to move all this in here. And... Move all 
supply in there. So yes, there's lots and lots of stuff we can do in this game. And I haven't exactly a clue to do all, how, how to do all of it. So fun for me. Do that. What do I need for tongs? I can make tongs. Here's some tongs. All right, well, that's done. Now, I kind of wish that I basically had, um, I guess, more to do with, like, stuff. What I would have liked to do in this episode was make something called a solar still, which is basically a sort of item that you need, like, you know, limestone to make, to make with, and, um... It would have basically been, like, a more advanced, you know, version of, like, game wire back for me. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to, you know, net myself what I need to basically make that. Let's just do that stuff. Plant this stuff. Now here's a question, what time of night is it? It's the third quarter of the night, so it is starting to get brightened up again. This is nice. You know, think about it. Let's go collect some water. Oh, right, so I have to be around a lick kiln for this to basically work. Well, that's fine. I know how to fix that. Whoops, I trampled a mushroom in the ground. So, you can actually trample over stuff, that's good to know. Oh. There's unpurified water in still that I never actually dealt with. Alright. Um, light torch. Wait, I need to actually equip it, right? So, left hand. And this is struggling yet again. Forever struggling, my fires. Okay, you're very healthy. I want to ignite you. And then I want to... Start a fire. I don't have any fuel. This is not fuel. Alright, well, um... That's a bit of an issue. Distinguish that for a moment. Now, here's a question. Can I use this stuff as fuel? Is coal? Let's see. There we go. And then we'll, uh... There we go, I made a fire. So, that's working. Alright, that's good to know. I'm just gonna pour that out right there. Let's try getting some powder out. And we'll try starting a fire right here. Alright, this is not a fuel source apparently. Good to know. My torch is slowly decaying, that's fine, but... Gotta watch out for it. Alright, good. I started a fire. It's struggling, but whatever. 
Let's try repairing this. Hey, look at this. I can repair this if I'm next to a fire. So this is cliff throwing apparently what I'm doing right now. There we go, it's repaired. So that's excellent, now I have a fully repaired uh, clay jug again. Alright, let's see here. Let's repair this. I'm going to equip this to my left hand for now. And I'm looking at this grindstone and thinking I may want to get a second one right now, so... Let's do that. We'll get some grindstones. A little bit lackluster these, but whatever. They'll, they'll work. Just some extra grindstone uses. All oh, right, just full. That's full, isn't it, too? All hmm. There we go. I made a floor. You know, that's actually reduced my landing when I make floors like this, interestingly enough. There we go, I made a bunch of floors, so it felt like it. Actually, what I'm going to do with these floors, I actually got a plan for them. Remember that, you know, stupid boggling? We're just going to put this stuff outside my doors. Like so. There we go. Doesn't that look interesting? Probably not, but whatever, I don't really care. Now here's a question I have for myself. If I actually go over to like this um, hole and set this down... So I actually, I actually like closed off that space to like the underground there. Interesting. And you can't like, you know, get back in there unless like you actually dig it up. Which I'm not going to do because that would be taking a lot of time. Which is fine. I'm actually gonna move this all in here. That's fine. All right, let's see here. It's almost extinguished that fire, which is great because I want it to be extinguished. Hmm. You know, I got this lock pick. I'm not actually using it right now, so let's just go over like this. Move that in there. Let's go in here and we'll break down some of these logs so I can get like some more stuff, I guess. I want to get like some more bark, for example, to like, you know, make wood shavings and crap. Make some kindling. There we go. You 
you know, these blue streams aren't exactly helping me in here, so I might just take them out for, like, use some fire and stuff. Well, you know what? We'll keep them around just in case they are useful. There we go. Hmm. I made remark remarkable kindling, apparently. There we go. That's crappy stuff. I want to basically use better stuff as a thing, so avoid doing that. Let's dismantle some of this stuff, I guess. Move. Move. Move these twigs. Move all these poles. Alright, that means slowly decaying. But that's fine, I think I can probably eat it before I have any problems with it, so... Oh, okay, I finally went out. Excellent. Purified water. I'll oh, guard that water. Excellent. I got lots of water to drink. And now I'm basically have to go back and, you know, basically collect my stuff. But whatever. Alright, this is known for medicinal properties, that's good to know. I'm actually just gonna move this stuff over here, I think. Bro! Oh, that's stupid. Whatever. Nice, got an ammo claw. Whoops. Oh well. Made a large rock right there. Pick up this stuff. You know what? I was gonna walk back and like you know try and gather my supplies, but I think we'll try and save that for next episode, I guess, because this one's going on kind of long. And this uh, is getting full again. Sure, why not? We'll make that into a lock pick. Nice, makes him made a really good lockpick right there. And apparently I lost my back item, okay. Put that on my back then. Move that to the open container. Move those lockpicks in there. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this uh, cobblestone flooring, but whatever. I can just put it on top of something. Just for 
throw in here, for example. Thank God again. You know, I wonder if like the animals will smell meat on you if you have it. Ooh, there's two gray wolves. Gotta watch out for them. There's a bear. The animals are coming out and about at this point. There's a dead bush up there, that's nice. Okay, where the hell am I going? I'm actually gonna go up here because I wanna get this cotton. I do remember I wanna get this cotton for something. Nice, cotton seeds. There we go, I just wanna get that one. Another bear. I'm going to avoid you, Mr. Bear. If I remember correctly, I wanted to try and burrow for over here. I had problems doing so, though. Drop all this stuff. There's some limestone, excellent. I'll be taking that. What else is over here? That looks like iron. Yeah, he's definitely following me, so... We're just going to run around this place. You know, while I'm down here, I should... Well, at least I got some bark. I should come down over here to, um... Pluck some yellow flowers with my hands, because, you know, I can do that. You know, I'm getting thirsty and everything else right here, so maybe at this point I'll, um... Drink this. Eat that. There we go, I got that iron ore. Gotta get one too. Well, you really want to follow me, don't you? Yeah, I do want to do it. Ooh, look at all the bushes and stuff up there.
Pick a lot of stuff up. We aren't really damaging this knife, that's a bit of an issue, but whatever. Repair it up. You know, I see bears on this tree down here. Or seeds to plant, excellent. More stuff to mine, too. My stone axe is in repair again. You know, I went pretty far north. Maybe I'll keep going north in the next episode and I'll explore around the area. Or maybe I'll we'll go through here again. I might do that too. But I'm actually getting really low on weight, so I just might head home. You know, I completely got distracted from what I was doing, trying to do, um, getting back to my stuff to basically get more stuff. I just destroyed my axe, didn't I? Whoops. I need a string, a pole, and a sharpened rock. Ah, whatever, let's just drop all... All this stuff. Alright, well, whatever. we'll continue on next episode for now. I think I've gone far enough. I'll see you guys next time.